Union Defence Minister and BJP leader Nirmala Sitaraman on Thursday released the party's vision document for the Meghalaya at Silong Party Office, promising houses for everyone, jobs to unemployed, drinking water, women empowerment, among others. Interacting with media persons after releasing the document, the Union Minister alleged that basic infrastructures like road and safe drinking water could not provided to the people of Meghalaya by the Congress government though it had been in the power for decades. Why things could not move here in 10 years under Congress regime see questioned. Speak about it at a national level. After all, let's not forget, law and order is a state subject. Every state has to make special effort to continue, particularly I know and when I'm talking in states like Meghalaya, has been very rich in its tradition of protecting women, taking care of, you know, the social fabric has been very empowering of women. I wouldn't even say protecting. They, they felt empowered enough to be, you know, go where they want to go and come back home safely. If that environment has been now challenged because of illegal activities, because of unlawful activities, isn't it the business of the state government under whose powers law and order come to make sure that their citizens are reassured? And if, as um, Honorable Minister Alphonse has said, if the Home Minister's son's own establishment couldn't provide it, well, at least has logical action been taken to its very end? Has there been a reassurance given to the people that action has been taken those guilty have been punished. So women, please be safe. You are not going to be, you know, challenged. We'll take action to prevent such things. Even that has not happened. On the contrary, the message and the kind of uh, input that I've understood, one of you all, any one of you all can correct me, is there is a quietude about it. We don't know what is happening. Action, logical action has been taken. Legal action has been taken. We don't know. So these kind of things add to this fear that maybe wrongdoers will get, out, get away with it. And when that sense comes in, the sense of fear, the sense of insecurity can mount. And that is where I think a state government, which is sensitive to this empowering women culture of Meghalaya, will have to be here, not the one which is indifferent to them.